folks and welcome back to your home port today we're looking over the tier 8 premium japanese destroyer the hsf harakazi well known from the high school fleet anime series the ship is interesting in that it has three different hulls that you can run all giving the ship a slightly different personality and play style none of the three hulls give any advantage in survivability as the ship remains at 13,300 hit points incidentally the lowest of its uh, tier group if you choose to stick with hull number one you will have the weakest aa abilities of the three setups with a rating of just 10 you will mount the Japanese dual mount 127mm gun turrets, which are slow to rotate. A fairly slow reload of 6.3 seconds and a dispersion figure of 86 meters on its 9.4 km surface firing range. These guns are not dual purpose though and do not contribute to Harakazi's AA defense. Moving on to the second possible hull configuration, you will now have mounted the dual mount turret with 100mm dual purpose guns. These jump your AA rating up to 49, giving Harakazi the potential to be a fairly respectable AA platform if you choose the right command skills and pennants and etc. It is important to note that these 100mm main guns have the same surface firing range of 9.4 kilometers as the initial hull's dual 127mm guns, but reload in less than half the time, rotate almost two-thirds quicker, and have a faster initial cell velocity of 1000 meters per second, but they do less damage per shell than the 127mm guns. The third hull you can choose to equip changes out the main guns once again, this time for American 5-inch guns. Yes, American ones. According to the wiki, these guns are only only otherwise found as secondaries on the carrier midway, not on other US destroyers. These are a long barreled weapon with a reload time of 3.6 seconds, 180 degree rotation time of only 5.3, and the same firing range of 9.4 kilometers. Dispersion of 86 meters, as with all the other gun choices. Initial shell velocity is somewhat less than the 100 millimeter guns on option two at 808 meters per second, but it's still reasonable. Well, I've still got some play testing to do before I make a final decision decision which gun loadout I prefer, right now I'm leaning towards the dual mount dual purpose 100mm. Japanese destroyers have never been known as real gunboats per se, and none of these options here really bump them up into that category, but the 100mm guns and the AA guns modification 2, which extends the range of AA guns by 20%, really gives a useful boost to your AA defense rating, which otherwise is poor to mediocre. When we look at the other main armament of this ship, the torpedoes, we see the stock Kagero torpedoes with a 10 km range and 61 knot speed. This is quite workable on its own when you're rocking a captain with a concealment expert perk and a special upgrade available for this ship, the Concealment System Modification 1 upgrade. Now these drop your at-sea detection range to 5.4 kilometers, and this is really valuable to you with your 10 kilometer torpedoes. The only place where these torpedoes really fall down, in my opinion, is the 1.6 kilometer detection range, which is a bit high. No doubt in place to offset the 5.4 kilometer detection range of the ship itself. Maneuverability of the HSF Harakazi is decent without being great, and is in fact outclassed to varying degrees by most of her tier mates. Regardless, a 35.5 knot top speed is pretty good, and when you couple that with the speed boost consumable, you will be skating across the water at a most excellent 40.2 knots. Turning circle of 640 meters is a bit wide for sure, and coupled with a 4 second runner shift time, turning can seem very sluggish at low speeds. It's still not enough to really hinder the ship's performance looking at the big picture though. Overall, I do quite like this ship. I am quite comfortable playing it, and while I haven't racked up anything more than mid 50,000 damage in game, that's my fault, not the ship's. As I let things happen to it to see what the effects might be while I'm testing. Your mileage will likely be much better though. Well folks, there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments. As well, be sure to visit my social media pages, both on Facebook and Twitter. This is where I post info that, while not belonging in a video, it's worth taking a look at. Links to all things in the video description. Alright folks, thanks very much for stopping by and watching. I'll catch you next time.